Now let's understand what is the relation or what is the comparison between distance and displacement. This will be asked in your school exam probably for a two marker question. Now let's understand the differences one by one. If you can see in this table, distance is a scalar quantity and displacement is a vector quantity. We are very much clear on this. Second, always the distance and displacement. Displacement's maximum value will be equal to distance. And in general, you can say distance is equal to or always greater than displacement. Why so? If an object is moving between two points and it follows a straight path, in that case, distance and displacement would be equal. But what if an object moves in a curvilinear path? In that case, the distance of the object is greater than the displacement. Third being, in between two points, displacement will have a single value. But there can be multiple distances as it depends on the path followed. I hope you have understood the three point. Now let's move to the fourth point. Now, for a moving object, distance can never decrease. It will always increase. Whereas displacement can decrease for a moving object. Let's just suppose an object was moving away from home and then it returns back. In that case, displacement will first increase and then decrease, whereas distance will never decrease. And the next fifth point would be that distance is always positive. It can never be negative, whereas displacement can be positive, zero or negative, right? And last note point, an object is said to be in a state of uniform motion if it is covering equal displacement and equal interval of time. Otherwise, the motion would be non-uniform. Now friends, let's take some basic numericals to understand the concept of position, distance and displacement. So in here, you might have already accessed these kind of questions, but let's give it a try. Here, a man starts walking from point O towards north for a distance of 30 meters. Then he took a right turn at 90 degree and then moves for another 40 meters. You have to find the distance traveled and displacement of man. Now here you can see a diagram where this direction represents north. Obviously, if this is north, this is south, this is east and this is west. Now the object starts from O. So this, let's take this point as O. It moves up, that is moving towards north. Then it takes a right turn, that it is, is moving towards east. All right. Now the point is distance. If you want to find the distance, it is the sum of distance from O to B and then from B to C. That is the path length, right? So that is equals to 30 meters plus 40 meters and that would be 70 meters. This would be the distance. I hope you have understood this very well, right? Now, let's move to displacement part. So in order to find the magnitude of the displacement, what you do is draw a straight line between O and C as you can see here, right? And that straight line's magnitude will give you the magnitude of displacement. Always remember, in order to find the magnitude of displacement, what you have to do is draw a straight line between the final position and the initial position and calculate its length. Here you can see easily that this is 90 degree as it is given in the question. So this follows a right angle triangle. So this is the hypotenuse, this is the perpendicular and this is the base. You can find displacement easily as S vector displacement equals to under root of O B square plus B C square, right? So that would be equal to this is 30 whole square plus this is 40 whole square and you will find that this displacement is equals to 50 meters. I hope you have understood this one, right? Now the point is this displacement also requires an angle at which the motion has happened. So you can see if you mark it right here that the object is moving somewhere here in this direction, we need to understand that what is the angle also. Then only you can add the final answer because displacement is not only the value, it is also adding the direction. So if you see, let's take this angle as phi. I'll give you a trick. This is 30, this is 40 and this is 50 meters. So always remember this is a right angle triangle and in this case always between 5 and 3 the angle would be 53 degree always. So this is a 90 degree this is 53 and this is 37 right. So if you understand this angle I have told you is phi which is 53 degree so theta would be equals to 37 degree 
right so what is your final answer for displacement you will write displacement is 50 meters in 37 degree north of east since the angle is made up with east so you write east here and it is towards north so it is represented like this i hope you have understood the distance and displacement part this part was quite known to you now let's move on to take our next numerical now in this question here a boy is running on a circular track of radius 2 meter as shown in the figure oh we need a figure as well let's see yes here it is and we have to find the distance traveled and displacement from point a to c let's start with the solution as it has been asked we have find distance and displacement right this displacement let me tell you it is being represented like this as well in many cases we'll get back to that part in later lectures but from a to c if you understand it starts from here and moves till here what is the distance distance would be this path the length of from a to c arc right this is the semicircular path so if you want to find the distance distance s would be simply pi r that is length of the semicircle and that would be equal to pi into 2 meters that is equals to 2 pi meters this is the distance i hope you have understood this one now let's talk about displacement so when you say about displacement what it is it is basically the length of straight line between two points right so if you see here that from a to c if this is 2 meters and this is 2 meter what is the total length here from here that would be 4 meters so displacement would be simply 4 meters and that too also i should write along line ac right so we have gathered the distance and displacement as well i hope you have understood them very well now let's move on to our next numerical where this is quite a good question a drunk car starts walking towards a ditch situated at a distance 8.5 ft for every two step he covers first he moves 3 ft forward and 1 ft backwards so it is the drunk car habit and we have to calculate in how many steps he will fall in the ditch let's see a diagram here so this is the starting point for the drunk car let's make one drunk car here right he is moving towards this direction now in the first step he will reach here and then in the second step he will come back and will reach at this point of time for every set of motion he moves 3 ft forward and he moves 1 ft backwards right so you can say that after two steps he is at a distance of 2 ft from its original location now after again two steps he will reach somewhere here at this is also 2 ft right and also again after two steps he will reach somewhere here that is equals to 2 ft then so with six steps he has reached at a distance of 6 ft from its original position now when he will be taking the next step that is the seventh step he will move for a distance of 3 ft friends and that will make him reach the 9 ft distance from the origin so from origin he is at this distance and the ditch started at level of 8.5 ft that means he has already fallen in the ditch that means at the seventh step drunkard will fall in the ditch then it's a easy and interesting question now let's take the last question of the day now this question says find the distance traveled and the displacement of a particle which moved 30 meter north then took a right turn and moved a distance of 40 meter then fly upwards in the sky perpendicularly to a height of 50 meters 
So it seems a pretty interesting question where three dimensions have been involved. Now you might be worried, sir, how will we solve this question? It's easy. For now, we will restrict our answer to magnitude of the displacement only and distance calculation is never an issue for us. So let's understand the solution of the same. But we will restrict ourselves only to the magnitude of displacement because in the three dimension case, in order to describe the direction, we will be needing vectors which will come in later on lectures, right? So let's restrict ourselves to distance and magnitude of displacement. So here in this question, you can see this is a cubical box structure where the object moves from A to B, then B to C and then C to D. So what is the distance from A to B? It was 30 meters. From B to C, it is 40 meters. And from C to D, it is 50 meters, right? Then if you want to understand the direction, so this being the north, this is south, this is east and this is west. So initially from A to B, it moved towards north then it moves toward the east portion and then it moved upwards right let's start the solution so first of all when you talk about the distance when you talk about distance it is simply the summation that would be equal to a b plus b c plus c d that would be equal to 30 plus 40 plus 50 and that will add up to 120 meters. So you have easily found the distance traveled by the particle, right? Now let's talk about displacement. When you want to find the displacement, what you have to do is draw a straight line from A to D. Let me draw that for you from here till here, right? So from A to D, we need to find and calculate the displacement. So you can see a triangle here, which is formed from A, C, D, right? In this A, C, D triangle, if you focus carefully, A, C is the base, C, D is the perpendicular, and A, D is your answer, that is the displacement. So what I will write is, displacement is A, D. So in right angled triangle ACD, AD is equals to under root of AC square plus CD square, right? Now we need to understand that CD is already known to us, but AC we have to find and that AC is a part of triangle ABC where AB is 30, BC is 40. So similarly, this would be 50 meters hypotenuse, right? Now this being 50 meters, so we can easily calculate from here that it is equal to 50 whole square plus 50 whole square. On calculating this, you will find that value of AD would be equal to 50 root 2 meters. This would be the displacement of the particle along the line AD, remember. But we don't know how to specify the direction right now. So we have restricted ourselves to the displacement's magnitude. So friends, we have understood all the way through what is motion, what is kinematics, what is dynamics, what is 1D, 2D motion, and then what is the position, distance, displacement, and the questions related to same. Hope you have enjoyed the lecture. Now we will meet in the next lecture. Thank you.